damn sure I close the doors to the barn. I always do. Bella wasn't here this morning. I tell you, it was those sons of bitches. It's for weeks now that we've been hearing rumors about them rustling cattle. Fortunately, I'm a light sleeper. I heard a commotion and went to check on the cows. Did you come down right away? Yes, uh, I took the rifle and went out. But by the time I got to the barn, they were already gone. They must have noticed the lights go on in the house. These people need to be taught a lesson. They must be taught to think twice before breaking into other people's houses. They should consider themselves lucky not to have caught a bullet to the head. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't have to go that far, but I agree. They're absolute assholes. And they say they didn't take them all. What else would I have to keep me busy if I didn't have my cows? Have you already reported the theft? What the fuck do I tell the cops? They wouldn't find her anyway. What a shit time we're going through. Get your way for them with your rifle, boy. Rest assured that if they come back, they'll get what's coming to them. Fuck! Fuck! Can anyone catch yeah, up to this front runners? Yes. Everything okay? Sites, Lopez and Artex are in a league of their own. What does he want They're now? They're away from the rest of the field. Cliff, go and see what's up top. with him. The crowd is going wild oh, as the God. horses sprint towards the finish line. Their hearts pounding with anticipation. And there Excuse is. me. Lopez are you okay? Cross the finish line I am ruined. Of Excuse me? Race we've it's none today. of your business. Do your job and go get me that drink. Fine. As the other horses Coming right up. Complete the race, let the Nora, is the whiskey on the shelf finished? Um, no. There battle. should still be some left. You can take it. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope to see you again for another thrilling horse race. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us for this exhilarating horse race at Riverside. We hope you enjoyed the excitement and drama that unfolded on the track. It's been a pleasure to be your commentator for this race. Now, it's time Cliff, to hand over the race. Come take a look at this. As we Coming. Wait for the next program. Stay tuned to this channel for more thrilling sports events, captivating races, and engaging content. Until next time, I'm signing off. This is Patrick Weston, wishing you a wonderful day ahead. Take care and enjoy the rest, the rest of your of viewing experience. experience. I don't like that guy. You never like anyone. I thought you were used to our kind of clientele by now. Come on, let it go. Instead, look at what I found. Oh, that magazine again. <laughs> Which villa have you fallen in love with this time? No, no. No villas. <laughs> You'll love these two. Trust me. The first one is very secluded and a bit out of town. But it has a big garden and the most beautiful fireplace. It probably just needs a little remodeling. Well, that sure looks like a villa to me. <laughs> I'm on. This other one, on the other hand, is definitely an apartment. It looks quite nice and it's rather close to the center. It's even cheaper. The only downside is that it faces the street, so it could get a bit noisy. Hmm. Let me think. Sure, that house does need a fair bit of renovating, but I like it. There is also a lot of empty land around it. You always wanted to have a small garden to plant your vegetables. It looks like the perfect place for a fresh start. So, you finally set your mind on leaving. I'm sad to be leaving everything we've built here. But, Hank, you know, you've been dreaming about this for a long time now. Uh, I'm a retired old <coughs> man. If you leave, where will I spend my afternoons? <laughs> Come on, Hank, you know me all too well. We need a change of scenery. And anyway, this isn't the Hello? end of the road. I'm not saying you shouldn't chase your dreams. I'm just saying... I'm gonna miss you guys. This place means a hell of a lot to the few people Can still around here. 
Sorry to interrupt your fucking lame-ass shit family reunion. My throat is dry. Do any of you intend to carry out your job? Hey, you piece of shit! Can't you see I'm talking here? Cliff, why do you always let people treat you like this? Shut up, old man! I'm coming, but you need to calm yourself down. Who does this guy think he is? Mm. Another glass. Are you sure you haven't had enough to drink? Another glass. All right, all right. Shall I leave you the bottle? Is your ass feeling heavy today? Of course I don't want you to leave me the bottle. No, I'll call you back if I want more. All right, whatever. I didn't know you were back in town. A little break after a month of filming. I really needed it. And soon you will be seeing me on the big screen. What are they making you do this time? Another respectful scene as an extra? Hank, you're still the same as always. I actually secured a leading role this time. Don't be questioning my talent every time I set foot in here. <laughs> Oh, Mandy, don't feel too bad. He's only saying that because he'd like you around here more often. I know. He's my number one fan, really. And the only one you have, too. You wish. Recently, I've been getting too much unwanted attention. Anyway, I couldn't leave town without stopping by to say hello. Cliff, can you make me a burger? I'm starving. Sure. It's coming right up. I've already organized everything in the freezer. Who wants a hamburger with just me? I'll get it from the freezer. Pons, so. on the other hand, I'm going to shut it. Action film. I'm playing the role of the victim taken hostage by a gang of criminals. Wow, that's nice. Mm, are you sure this isn't a porno flick? I would gladly watch that one. <laughs> Hank. Somehow I had no doubt you would, Hank. Eh, fooey. Anyway, I'm very happy things are looking up for you. So they're letting anyone become an actor nowadays. With that awful voice. Hey, easy. You're free to leave if we're bothering you. I ain't done drinking. Would you look at this asshole? Sorry, I was caught up by my own excitement. I didn't mean to disturb anyone. Mm, thank you. I'm thirsty. I'm finally being served by someone who knows how to do her job. I bet you're the boss here. Yes, and if I were you, I would stop taking the piss. <laughs> all right, all right. Someone's a little touchy. That guy is such an asshole. I don't understand how you can stand having people like that in here. <sighs> Unfortunately, assholes like him help keep the lights on around here. I have animals that are more polite than that guy. Cliff, can you get me a cheeseburger and a beer? Then I'll try to stop by the sheriff's office to report those damn cattle rustlers. Sure. is forcing you to stay here.
available details indicate that the murder yesterday frequented only by red according to authorities who was visibly intoxicated entered the diner and You, long, man, you can't imagine how hungry I was. All right, folks, I have to go. Take care, Mandy. Hope to see you again before we close shop here for good. Bye, Mandy. Guys, see you tomorrow, Hank. Bye, Hank. Are we doing the right thing? This place is filled with memories. It seems like yesterday. You used to come all the way here in that old wreck of a car. And you ordered. <laughs> Two pancakes. A coffee and your phone number. Yes every morning at the same time. <laughs> That's right. And the phone number was always wrong. It was just my luck that your father decided to hire me. Yeah. It's been so long now. Maybe it's time for me to go. Stay with me. A little longer. This place, it needs you. I need you. As I need you, but I cannot do this anymore. This pain will never leave you. I have to leave, Cliff. That the murder occurred yesterday evening in a small diner frequented mainly by residents of the area. I'm sorry, I've lost my mind. Everything. 